Well, hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Shani, I am the Nostalgic Owl, and today I have a Wassel and a small haul for you. Sorry, I um, this week I have not had two videos. Um, like I, that's my goal is to have two, at least two videos a week for you guys. And I just did not, I was not able to do that. But I had my sister in town and my two little nephews in town and I spent quality time with them and it was fun. And we went to the zoo and a museum and swimming and so it was, um, it was pretty fun. They came from Oklahoma. I am in Missouri. If you don't know me, I am a part-time reseller. I'm a full-time hospice on-call nurse. And so I uh, thrift when I can and I post things for sale when I can. And I, you know, I've never really kept track of how many hours a week um, I probably need to do that. Um, I would love to be able to make this a full-time job one day. In all reality, I am, I have been in healthcare since, um, man, I was 20, 23. Um, I am 45 now and I, you know, I'm just kind of over, <laughs> over it. I love helping people. And I love being able to do my job and be there for people in crisis. And, um, but you know, I'm just, I am, I'm getting a little burnt out on healthcare in general, not helping people, just healthcare. And if you really spoke to any of your friends that are probably in healthcare, um, they have went through periods and in their life where they have felt the same. And I, um, yeah, so I am kind of going through that right now. But anyway, I do love my job. I love what I do. I love hospice. I would not do anything else in healthcare. Um, I've done other things before and it just does not um, give me a purpose like hospice has. So anyway, that's a, that's a little bit about my full-time job. So this last week, um, like I said, I, um, you know, my cell, I had 11 cells. So it wasn't as good as the week before. The week before I had 14 cells and I thought, okay, it's picking up. Good, 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 good. It's picking up. Um, so anyway, the cells kind of fizzled a little bit, but I'm not complaining. Um, like I said, this is my very part-time job. So... I do this for just some extra money. Yes, I feel that if you want to do something like this full-time, you have to work at it like you would full-time. So um, I'm not there yet. It, it's my goal to be there. I'm just not there yet. So um, anyway, let's get to it. I'm gonna show you my 11 cells I had. This is from Monday. July 8th through Sunday, July 14th. I look down because I have my calendar in front of me. So I have all my little scribbles and notes. I gotta tell you guys. So something else I'm really trying to do in my life right now is, is get back to being healthy. And this is not a health channel. Um, I'm not going to give health advice. <laughs> Please, I'm the last person you need health advice from. But um, I walked six miles today and it felt really freaking good. And um, I've been trying to do, my husband and I have been trying to do a long walk together um, once a week at least. He is also a nurse and works during the day. And so the weekends, I like I start my full-time job tonight at 5 p.m. And this is Friday. So he will actually do his long walk tomorrow. And I just couldn't do it with him because I work all weekend. So I went out this morning and did my six miles and it felt pretty dang good. Um, so anyway, I'm pretty proud of myself. I just had to throw that out there. So hopefully in the near six, like the six months coming up, you guys will see a little bit of a change in me. Um, and I just want to, I'm trying to be more healthy all in all aspects of my life. Um, you know, just 
just all aspects, spiritually, financially, um, you know, just more organized, more healthy. Um, I just feel like the next six months, I want to finish 2024 strong. And so anyway, that's enough being said. There's a fly flying around. It's going to drive probably both of us crazy, but let's get through this. So 11 cells. On Monday the 8th, I did not get any cells, and I was like, okay, this is a bummer. And Sunday the 7th, I didn't either, um, which isn't included in this, but I had two days where I didn't have any cells. So, I, you know, and I, I truly believe your cells are a direct reflection of how, how much you're listening and being active in your, in your platforms. And I did not, I had stuff going on and I wasn't super active. I had a couple days where I'm like, okay, let's post, 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 post. And then the other days I was a turd and I didn't. So anyway, Monday the 8th, I had none. Tuesday the 9th, I had three cells and they were all, let's see. Yes, they were all eBay cells. So the first one is this vintage um, Better Homes and Gardens diamond print pint, pint size canning jar lot. I got these at a garage sale for a quarter a piece. So my cost of goods is 50 cents. Truthfully, I thought about keeping them because I like to can jelly and, you know, just do a little just for fun. Um, sometimes I, for those of you that have followed me, I love going to craft fairs in the winter time. And if I have like homemade goods that I've made, I'll take them. But so I bought these, I happened to look them up and notice that they were selling. And I thought, okay, I have a lot of jelly jars. I don't really need these pint sized jars. I could have put them in my booth, um, but I just decided to list them since my cost of goods was 50 cents for the both of them. And I sold them. I believe I listed them for $12 or $12.99 for the lot plus shipping. I always charge shipping. So if you're new to my channel, I'm going to tell you what it sold for, but that does not include the shipping that the person paid. So um, I think I, I got an offer of $10 for the set. I took it because I was like, get in and get out. I bought these on um, June 20th. So um, I didn't have them very long. And truthfully, I'm kind of at a place where um, I'm changing on my inventory system in this new house. I thought I had it kind of how I wanted it. And I decided, no, it wasn't quite how I want it. So if it's a hard good, I can't not buy hard good items. Like you can sell some good hard good items sometimes. And if I love it, I'm going to buy it. Um, so anyway, took an offer of $10 for the lot plus shipping. Um, after fees and cost of goods, I made $8.60. Um, and so it, it doesn't take, I'm, it doesn't take long to package. Some people think, well, that's not much because you had to wrap them. Yeah, I had to wrap them. It didn't take like, it took me maybe two minutes to wrap them in bubble wrap. Um, and most of my bubble wrap, things like that, I, I get for free. I scrounge from neighbors, from friends who um, sell on Amazon. Um, I try and get boxes from them. Um, so anyway, most of stuff like that I get for free. I do buy some bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy. So if you're getting into selling and you want to know like where do people get their, you know, their good bubble wrap, um American Bubble Boy order from there. It's cheaper. Um the more you buy, the cheaper it is. I get two huge rolls. It is way cheaper than going to like Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart and buying a, a roll of it. So if you have the room, um, I would, I would suggest buying from there. Um, so anyway, maybe one day I'll build this site. <laughs> I'll build my YouTube big enough to like put my little link down in the description. But if you're interested, I will. Um, but yeah, so, and my channel is growing little bits at a time. So thank you all so much for joining. Um, so anyway, $8.60. The second one 
um, was this Chico's Drops of Rain Triple Layer Top Size 3, X, which is an extra large jersey knit. Um, and, you know, I almost didn't buy this. And Chico's is one of those things. It will sell and then some things just sit. I haven't quite figured it out. So, if you are a Chico's, like, lover and, you know, if you sell a lot of Chico's, um... Let me know. I mean, I know if you price it good enough, it's going to sell or cheap enough, it'll sell. I listed this, um, I want to say I, truthfully, I don't know exactly. I think I listed it for 12 and it sold for 12, but either way, I bought this at Bag of Bargain, Bargain where you um, put anything you can fit in a Walmart size bag and the bag is $10. So it depends on what you put in the bag. Um, a lot of times I try and stuff it to where my cost of goods is less than a buck a piece. This day it was $1.33. I bought it on June the 20th and um, it sold for $12. And my cost of goods um, after shipping and fees was $7.97. Um, so that's not bad. I didn't have this shirt very long at all. The next thing is Chaps Men's Blazer Sport Coat Two Button Rayon Polyester Blend Charcoal Size 48R. Okay, some blazers, blazers do sell. And women's and men's blazers sell. Um, Chaps, you know, it's a good brand. Like if you bought this new at Dillard's, you are gonna pay for it. <laughs> But for resell factor, they do resell. Um, it just, this one's set for a while. I don't have a cost of goods because it was my inventory from 2023. I'm just lazy. I don't want to have to look it up on my old inventory. So I actually just started a half off um, three-day sale that lasts until tonight at 11.30 p.m. So if anyone's interested, um, in my store, I have a 50% off invent older inventory, even stuff I bought this year. If it wasn't recently posted, it is half off in my eBay store right now. Um, I kind of did that to help like keep my store active while my sister was in town. And truthfully, I would like to still clear out some old inventory. So anyway, I listed this for 26. I got an offer for 2340 and I accepted it. I lost a little bit of shipping. I believe this went to maybe California. I'm in Missouri. So um, you know, I a lot of times I don't lose shipping. I might make just, you know, a few cents or a dollar or something off of shipping. I usually will do flat rate shipping on everything unless it just doesn't make sense. So I lost some money on my shipping on this. I was okay. It weighed more than, um, you know, what I where it was going, and I I had, I could probably have sent this for um, ground advantage. I always want to say first class still, but I probably could have done ground advantage on this. But I had put in the listing I would ship priority, and so I. I do not, if I put that I'm going to ship priority, I ship priority, no matter if I lose money or not. And so, um, I sent this out and I made $13 and 18 cents and it is off of my wall. It's gone. So, um, I was happy about that. Um, Wednesday I had a Poshmark sale. Posh is picking up a little bit for me. I had three Posh sales this week and that's the most I've had for a while. I am trying to be more active in my closet and use my virtual assistant. If I'm going to pay for a virtual assistant, I better use it. And that's kind of where I've gotten, we kind of get lazy and think, oh, you know, it's like, why do I think that way? Like it, all it does is just go there. Like I've already went there today while I was figuring out my cells. I went there. I started share in my closet. I mean, it was, it was done in, you know, within 10 minutes. I'm like, it doesn't take long at all. Um, so anyway, I sold this vintage push pin faux beaded sequin fruit lot. Um, this is, some people will only post clothing in their Poshmark closet. And maybe that hurts me a little bit because I post anything. I post 
my vintage items. I post hard goods. I post, you know, my my clothing. I close my I post my vintage clothing. Some people, um, I believe, you can have two two Poshmark closets. I don't want to deal with that. I'm just gonna post everything in one closet. And you know, I've had people that have bulked my hard goods and clothing together in the past. So I don't think it hurts me. It might like some people might not like it, but um, anyway, I'm gonna continue to do that. So I sold these. I'm a little frustrated. I just got these and I'm pretty sure my, um, my cost of goods was $2 and I cannot find it in my inventory. I must have forgot to log that item in my inventory. So I'm a little bit, I was a little bit hacked at myself. Um, but I went ahead and I put it in. I put that, the cost of goods was $2 and um, let's see. I sold these for $17. I did give a shipping discount of $2.02. And so my my final profit was $9.58. So, um, and I just got these in June. I'm pretty sure just got these in June. Um, it's coffee time, y'all. What time is it anyway? It's 11.16 and I'm still, I'm drinking coffee still. Okay. Thursday the 11th, I sold this Q-Fig Marvel figurine lot, Spider-Man, Deadpool, Hulk, Doctor Strange, Rocket, Groot. This kind of tells you, like, it shows you, like, keywords. I was trying to put as many as I could in there. So, this lot, I am trying to pay off my student loans, and I kind of gave myself a challenge and this lot was in the toy bag I bought. I bought this toy bag on July 1st for $10.93. I've already sold a toy out of it. I say toy figurines out of it. So I sold this set. Um, I was highly surprised on this because I, I got that toy bag at home. I was like, I'm not going to sell any of this stuff. And then, you know... I just got to remind myself, like, Marvel characters, things like that. People collect them. And so, that's what this was. It was a whole lot. I grouped them. I listed it for $29.99. And I sold it for $24.50. And so, I made $20.40 after it was all said and done. So, it's already paid for, you know, that $10.93 that I spent. Um... Let's see, on the 12th, I had four sales. That one was an eBay sale also, but I had four sales on the 12th. The first was a Poshmark sale. Once again, it was one of those figurines. It was a Sea of Thieves Loot Crate exclusive Captain Flameheart figurine 2018 Microsoft. Um, I Google lensed this. I, I know nothing about this. I Google lensed it. So other people helped me create my item description or my item title um and description it was in good condition i sold it on poshmark poshmark guys i sold this 20 dollars on poshmark um it was in that bag of toys i bought i profited 16 dollars um on ebay i had three sales on the 12th this first is this pecking handicraft new attack needlework hook pillow bunnies nine and a half um, inches it's a little like easter looking pillow with bunnies on it it was a hook needlework um you can always tell the difference between like you know hook and cruel and you know learn to know those the differences so you can get things correct in your description and your title um but this was a hook pillow very cute. It had the tags on it. Um, I sold it for $22. I bought it um, April the 9th for $2 in at Bag of Bargain. So I spent $2. My cost of goods was a little higher in that bag, um, but I sold it for $22. It was a little pillow, guys. These little decorative pillows will sell, especially like new with tags. Some can do very well. And I, I mean, 30. 30 plus. Um, I 
this kind of stuff does take up inventory though. So you have to have room for things like this. Um, but I, I got it out of here and I made $15 and 86 cents on it. So I was, I was thrilled with that. Just a couple months old. Um, next item was the Zaya active light and tight pocket leggings, lot black size 14, 16 full length and seven eighths. So I got these, this is my, um, this was in that Goodwill <clears throat> lot that I paid, that I went for my student loans. Like I'm trying, I I'm giving myself, if you didn't see that video, check it out. I am trying to pay my student loans off and I gave myself kind of a, um, kind of a little, you know, let's see how fast I can get them paid off. I took some money to the Goodwill, to the Goodwill in Ozark, Missouri. I bought some stuff and I looked this morning and I'm like four cents up. <laughs> so, um, I am just hoping like that doesn't backfire on me. Um, so yeah, I've, I've made my money back from the haul. So now I got to try and sell the rest and, um, yeah, get to paying off my student loans. So anyway, I decided to lot these. Zaya, I've said it before, they will sell just not as much as they used to sell. My cost of goods were $4.88 a piece on these, um, which I struggle with going to Goodwill and the cost of goods at Goodwill. I struggle with it. I'm not going to lie. People probably from California <laughs> or any coast are probably like, you're dumb because <laughs> you, you pay that per item. But, you know, I'm just used to my cost of goods trying to keep them around a dollar or two or even less. And so, um, yeah, so I paid $4 and 88 cents each. I sold this, I grouped it. I felt like it would sell better and it did. It sold fast. I bought them on July 1st. They sold, um, on the 12th and I sold the pair for $29.99 and my cost of goods after the, um, or my, my amount I made after the cost of goods out and the shipping was $15 and 58 cents. So, um, I was glad to see those go. It was a good size too. The next thing on the 12th was this Comfortex, uh, Miramar beach, long sleeve t-shirt, a men's size, extra, extra large. This was in my old inventory. Um, I sold this for $10 and 99 cents. And I made $9 and five cents. Um, yeah, it was my inventory from last year. This is one of the, the comfort text, um, reminds you of like the comfort colors. It's really a, um, comfortable t-shirt. I love comfort colors, t-shirts or the ones like that. And these, um, destination shirts, um, they will sell these destination shirts. And yeah, I've had it for a while, um, but it eventually sold and I was glad to see it go. I made $9 and five cents. So on Saturday, the 13th, I only sold one item. It was on Poshmark. It was these 510 stealth rock climbing shoes, women size eight. I've had these for a little bit and actually, um, I did not, I try and write down like when I bought them, so you guys know. Let me find them again here. Um, but I sold them for $32 um, on Poshmark. Yeah, I got these April 18th. My cost of goods was $1 on these, $1. And I got them at the bag of bargain. So um, I kept my cost of goods low that day. So I sold them for 32. I knew they would sell. It's just going to take the right person. You can see in the picture, it still had some chalk on it. Um, rock climbers use chalk to, you know, grip and yeah, but they were in great condition. They didn't really have a lot of wear wear, um, from the climbing. Um, it just had like wear because of like the chalk and stuff. And I tried to wash them and get it off and, um, or just kind of, you know, get it back in shape so I could list it, but you could still see it. So I made $24 and 60 cents off of these. And then on Sunday, I only had one sell it also, excuse me. It was this vintage jerseys, t-shirt dress, red style, red single stitch, one size fits most crew neck. 
I listed this for $18. These old single stitch t-shirts, um, people do seek them out um, and want to buy them, even plain colored. And so I knew it would eventually sell. Um, this was in my inventory, I think at the back half of the year though. Um, so I've had it for a while. Um, I took an offer of $14 and I made $10.90. So 11 sales for the week. I made, my profit was $151.72 after fees and everything. So not bad. I, it's, Let's see, today is, yeah, I haven't done very well, you know, this week so far, even with having that sell. But like I said, you know, I feel like sales are a reflection of how hard are you working your business, and I, I haven't been working it very hard, um, so I need to get going and get after it. But anyway, it is what it is, so there's that. And I'm going to close my book and then I'm going to show you a little haul that um, I got. One night I was bored and I just was like, I'm going to go to the Goodwill and see what I can find. And so I do have some goodies to show you. I'm going to pull my inventory because I took, I took the tags off of a lot of this. I just got these in inventory. I kind of feel bad because I've had some inventory that I was gonna hold out for a, um, a video for you guys and then with my sister coming and everything I was like oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna list these <laughs> so I should have still kept them back but I was trying to keep I'm trying to keep my my area clean and it kind of if you're a reseller you know what I mean it's like you got to try and stay organized a little bit because um, you have things coming in and going out and yeah anyway hopefully more things going out but <laughs> That's not really happening for me lately, so. Okay, I got quite a bit of shoes. They were pulling some shoes. Um, they were putting some shoes out and kind of setting some over to the side, and I was like, I don't know what they were doing. Um, but anyway, here's some black Chacos. They're in really good condition. You can tell from the bottoms, and... Um, I'm just, I think I'm going to throw them in my washer just to try and kind of clean them up a little bit. You know, the, the straps. Um, I like them because they're the slides. I wish they really were my size, but they're not. They're a women's size eight. So I'm going to wash these today and then hopefully try and get them listed this weekend. Sounds like I'm going to have a busy weekend on call. I already kind of, I'm getting a feeling of it's going to be crazy. So, um, Sometimes I feel like that's just my anticipatory stress level. <laughs> so anyway, these are very cute. They are my size. Um, they are Clark's. Clark's will sell. Um, I feel like it, it's so inundated with Clark's. Um, I feel like, you know, it really, you have to find someone looking for a certain um, Clark shoe. I don't know. That's just kind of my opinion. So these are Clark's collection or collection by Clark's. Clark's are very comfortable. If you've never worn a Clark, I mean, it is like super comfortable. They have the little Velcro closure. Do not ever use Velcro on eBay. It will give you a Vero. So a lot of people will do like hook and loop. Um, closure, if you're going to put anything in the title, a lot of times I don't put anything in the title about it unless I have room to do so. Um, but these are kind of a metallic, my ice machine. These are like a metallic-y, silvery, goldish, um, you can kind of tell they've got this, um, heel, and they look like they've hardly been worn because you can still see the original parts of the original sticker. Um, and these are size 10. So I, um, these were $5.91. So I went ahead and got them. I don't have to do much cleaning on them whatsoever. I think, yeah, all of these shoes, all of them were $5.91. So the same with this brand. This, if you've never had this brand, this, is it soft, soft? 
Um, if you've never had this brand of shoe, it is so comfortable. Seriously. I have some heels from these. And I guess some people might not think that they look stylish. Maybe mature, more mature women's shoes. But, like, look, those are cute, right? I think they're cute. And they're like a cream and a metallic gold. Um, I think they're super cute. And you can tell they're so soft. And the bottoms have not hardly been worn. So, they're in great condition. They have a little bit of, you know, you can tell they've been worn. But seriously, they're like in excellent condition. So, I need to get these posted today. Um, $5.91. So, there's that. These, um, I, truthfully, I haven't even looked up. They're just kind of some slip-on Nikes. And they are in excellent condition, really, other than... You can tell they've been worn like once or twice, but the inside Nike is like it. These look almost brand new, except you can tell that someone wore them a couple times. Like there's a little bit of dirt. I'm just going to take some cleaner and try and clean those. But these, I believe, are a women's size eight. So I'm going to get these listed today as well. So very cute. Just, you know... It's not like you can go running in these or anything, but they're just cute, comfortable shoes. So anyway, great condition. And then my last pair of shoes, let me scoot this clothes over. I wanna show you the shoes first. Are these Sam Edelman's? I truthfully, I, I don't know. I know Sam Edelman, Edelman will sell um, I need to look these up. I don't know. Maybe I have like a, a gem and I don't know it. But these are like these, they kind of have that like heeled converse look, you know, in a way. There is a little bit of wear. You can tell right here. It's not holes. It's like almost where something snagged or something. But um, they're kind of that stylish. They remind you of like a Sorel. And I was going to look up the name of these, and I totally forgot before um, before I got on here. So, anyway, um, if I can if I can get them found and listed before um, I post this video, I'll try and put a picture of my listing up. Um, you know, this, it's like this. This is like a suede. Um, these are, I believe, a women's seven and a half. Yes. And they have leather, leather fabric. Let's see, leather fabric upper is what it says. So the inside is in great condition. It's like a yellow, but, and you can tell, I mean, it hasn't, they haven't been worn much. So I need to get them listed. They are cute. Um, I think they're super cute, but anyway, I kind of wish they were my size. I like stuff like this. So anyway, there's that. So $5 and 91 cents clothing. You know, I, I'm going to show you this. I found a designer, um, from what I can tell it looks, it's designer. Um, Francesco Rizzo, if you've ever heard of him, this is his line, Marnie. I had never heard of Marnie. So if you're a reseller, um, I had it's I had never heard of it. I don't find a lot of designer items, guys. I, like I live in the Midwest. <laughs> I'm not saying like we're all redneck, but I'm just saying like it's hard to find designer items here. Um, they are here, but it is hard to find them to resell. So I saw this hanging, um, and it said. The so the tag intrigued me and it said made in Italy and I looked it up and I was like I'm buying that. I am buying that. Um so I paid four dollars and seventy-four cents. So Goodwill didn't know what they had, but this shirt it is like this extra and it's a great size, it's an extra large. Um, I think it's marked in here seems like it was marked in here. It's marked somewhere, I thought. 
Um, oh yeah, here we go. Let me see. It says it's a 44. So I'll have to look that up. But anyway, um, this is a blouse, like a peplum -y type flowy. It's almost like lagging look. Um, it's got pockets. Um, very cute. I need to wash it. But if you're not familiar with this brand, look on the website. Just go to Marnie.com. I think it's Marnie.com. Look up Marnie Clothing, M-A-R-N-I. Shirts are $1,000, okay? Um, the resale factor, sometimes um, 40 plus, I would say. So resale isn't going to be like crazy expensive. But still, I mean, when I'm making $7, $8, $10 off of other shirts. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to post this at. I am going to wash it today. Um, the tag kind of has a little bit of like dirt on the outside. Um, just from probably someone wearing it repetitively and not washing it a whole lot. But anyway, very cute. Maybe I should try it on. Will I wear designer? <laughs> I don't know. It's like a lot of resellers are like, um, what's, what am I going to make on this? Nope, I will not wear it. It actually says professional cleaning only, but it's 100% cotton. So I might just take a chance, put it on a gentle cycle on cold, um, and see about cleaning it. So anyway, very cute. The fabric, it's like got a batik fabric look. Um, so I was super stoked, like super stoked. I, I had never found that before. So, um, this I got for me to try since I'm working out a lot and truthfully, I'll tell you why I didn't like it. It is a Nike, just a Nike athletic Nike dry fit tank top, black, excellent condition, but it is a um, slim fit, and I don't like the slim on my curves. <laughs> so that is why I am going to just post this. And so, yes, I bought it for me originally because, um, you know, I was going to use it. Four seventy four is what I paid. And you can tell, like, the Nike, it is in great condition. So hopefully I'll just post it low and hope it sells. I like having athletic clothes in my closets um, because I do, you know, people do seek athletic clothes out. These are rad and I think I'm going to keep them. Um, they are this Namsar, like an large, extra large. And they are like this quilted pant that has, I forget, um, they make blankets like this. Oh, I just forgot the name of those blankets. I'm sure y'all will, um, I'm sure y'all will put it. <laughs> comment, comment the name of the blankets. But they're like that thick um, material. I love them so much. But these are pants, elastic waist pants, guys. And they fit me and I love them. And so I think I'm gonna keep them. And I paid $4.88 for them. Um, but anyway, they're very rad. I love them. Love them a lot. So I think I'm going to keep them. Keep them for a little while anyway. These, um, are free people. I paid $3.91, but they're free people beach. And they are size extra large, which is a good size for free people. And they're just kind of these beachy little elastic waist, um, pants. Very cute. I thought about trying them on, but truthfully, I don't know that I'll ever wear them. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will. I got some hair or something on them. But anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to post them. I they're, they're too cute not to post. And I haven't looked at the resale on them yet, but I was doing bad. I, I wasn't looking at cost of goods. And it's do as I say, not as I do. And that's for sure in this case, because I didn't look at cost of goods at all, except when I found the Marnie and I was like, okay, I'm going to look up this because I'm not sure about this. 
This was a surprise. It was, um, I paid $6.10. And it is this Lily Pulitzer little spring type dress, spaghetti strap. Good condition. It's size medium. Truthfully, it looks, it looks smaller than a medium to me. Um, but it is lined. It's got this lining. It's cotton. Yeah, it's all cotton. Um, machine wash cold. It's, it shows it's from July of 2012. So it's pretty old, but it is very cute. Definitely still in style. Um, and I feel like with it's got pockets. Lily Pulitzer, um, people are always looking for these colorful dresses from them. That sells the best for me. And, um, okay, now we've got this free people. I did pay up for these, but I was thinking of myself. <laughs> They're a free people movement. They are brand new with a tag. Um, they do have a stitch fix tag, which I used to do stitch fix when I, um, had a career <laughs> and I did not know that they had free people items. So I feel like the stitch fix, if when I resell these, I feel like the stitch fix tag will not help themselves. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like it actually brings a value down on certain pieces. I'm gonna look them up though, um, because they do have the new free people tag. These are an extra large black jogger, um, new with tag. And I, like I said, I got them thinking for me cause I did pay up. Um, and then I got them home and I was like, I'm not gonna wear those. I don't feel like, I don't know. This I'm, I was excited for. This is my last piece and they definitely, did not mark them up they 488 look at this is that not the cutest and guess what kate spade this was kate spade i have not looked up um comps on this yet i'm trying to button this to give you the full effect of it being buttoned this is a size six kate spade new york um skirt the rules and super cute little mini jean embroidered jean skirt. Is that not the cutest? I loved it. Loved it. Um, so anyway, I do not know the comps on this. I need to get it listed today. I want to get these listed today. This and at least the um, three of the shoes while I wash the Chacos. But my goal daily is I want to be able to post five items a day, which really isn't a big goal. But if you work part-time, it can be. Like some days I feel like I can't even list one item. So some just a tip from me when I'm on my A game and I'm being successful at this, I find that whatever day, whatever down day you have, if you work full time and you're trying to be like me and be part-time reseller, um, pick a day. Sunday was always my day before when I had a different job. Um, and I would take as many photos as I could of my inventory. I'd bring all my death pile out, dead pile, money pile, whatever you want to call it. And I would just start taking pictures and measurements. And then it allowed me to not have to take pictures through the week, but to be able to just list. Um, you know, there was a time where I was like three items a day. I just need to list three items a day. And so I would take that many pictures on Sunday and then that would allow me to be able to list through the week. So if you're struggling to list items, um, that really helped me when I was working like a full-time job nine to five. So hopefully that helps you. Um, but that's it. Thanks guys for hanging out. This is kind of a longer video. I always try and keep them around 30 minutes, but um, thanks for joining me. Um, God bless and like, and subscribe and even comment. It really helps me out and my channel is building and I appreciate all of you guys that, um, 
are supporting it. So have a blessed day.